Annotating Contours in CAD Hello everybody. Welcome to video tutorial about annotating contour lines in contour module. Labeling the contours is an important function in creating contour maps. A properly labeled contour map helps the reader to quickly interpret the shape of the terrain. When generating contours, the software will automatically create annotations at the end point of each contour line. If annotations are required elsewhere in the contour map, it will be done with different options given in eSurvey contours. This video explains various types of annotations that can be done within CAD package using contour module. To annotate contours at a specified point, select contours at a specified point from eSurvey CAD menu. Select the contour line. Contour annotation at specified point gets created. To annotate contours at midpoint, select midpoint option from contour menu and select the contour lines. Similarly, we can annotate contour at the endpoints. To annotate contours at specified interval, we need to specify the intervals. Most popular among annotation options is annotate using fence. After selecting this option from menu, draw imaginary line on the contour map in a way it intersects contour lines where you wish to annotate contours. The software will generate contours at all intersection points of fence selection and contour line. If text labels are overlapping the contour line, then reading the contour lines becomes difficult after printing the contour map. After annotating the contour while printing, you can ensure that text gets printed clearly. Although, it is overlapping on text by making the proper settings in latest CAD package. We don't suggest you to trim the contour lines around the text as all the contours will be cut and managing drawing becomes difficult. However, if you want to clear the contour line behind the contour text, select Trim Around Contour Text from eSurvey CAD, Contour Menu and select Annotations and Application will clear the lines behind contour annotations. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, you will learn how to interpolate values within the contour surface.